All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Azar! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the People's Champ, Tito! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so we get another look at Tito Ortiz here, and it's going to be interesting to see how he approaches this fight stylistically. A lot of advantages, at least on paper, for a prime Tito Ortiz coming up. Why well, it didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. He loves this clinch because he's got a great inside out and he does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hip. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has been a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from his position. Oh, it's tight. Said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved that. Ooh, crowd pops as he gets out again. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh my goodness, he got out again. Wow, that is fantastic submission defense. Pedro Milenko gets back up here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice. And busy as he looks to improve position here. It's it's tight. Somehow he got out though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Emelianenko gets back up again. Nicely done. And that one certainly found the target. He's got good kicks also. He needs to get a position and getting that reversal. Ortiz is back inside control here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, has to try to find that shot again. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. Somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay.
stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Nice shot to the head from the clinic position. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a good weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Ortiz is in half guard. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Both hooks. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Ortiz. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. He's got that arm triangle watching pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to catch his technique. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Setting up another submission. Oh my goodness, he might have it. Forward and off to the side, roll to his back to release that pressure. Scramble go. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, round three coming up next. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Effective punch there by Tito. That's as good a punch as he's throwing. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Submission defense was able to take his arm out and stay safe. Emilianenko's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these takes these submissions. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I are strong connections right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get their hair. It's not right for the party. Point DC. I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just. All right, so millionenko has got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have 
but he's got to really get his hips up into his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. Oh, looking for the submission again. They're both struggling so much to get out of his position. And there's the tag. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though he never rushes he takes his time but it's his trickiness it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Avon! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight but he knew that if he did...